Hey friends, I'm so excited to share with you my new quad routine. Some of these exercises are pretty new for me, so I'm just learning as I go along and sharing my progress along the way. First, let's get blood flow into the muscles with a short warm up. My warm ups tend to be just a few minutes. That is what works for me, but you can definitely extend yours if you need that extra time. I didn't film my warm up this time, so I'm including a clip from a previous workout. I'm doing hip circles, leg swings, and then a deep squat where I hold for one minute. Now that you're all warmed up and ready to go, we can jump right into the first exercise, which is Bulgarian split squats. A big plus to using this machine compared to the bench is that I don't have to focus so much on trying to keep my balance. I'm able to push through my working foot without wobbling around so much. Something to remember with split squats is the wider your stances, the more you will target both quads and glutes. You can see here, I'm finding the best foot placement for myself by sitting on the bar with both legs out and then placing one ankle over the bar. Next, I move the working leg in a bit for a more narrow stance. I am doing 10 reps each leg and four sets. The second exercise is the leg press. To target the quads primarily, I am keeping a narrow foot placement with my feet low on the platform. As I press up, I am pushing through my toes and keeping a soft bend in the knee at the top of each rep. This exercise was so brutal, especially because I decided to go up in weight for each set. I am doing four sets of 15 reps. The third exercise is step ups. This is another one that I used to do on the bench, but after trying it on this platform, there's no going back to the bench for me. Just like with the previous exercise, I like that I don't have to focus so much on keeping my balance. And since I am able to lean forward by holding onto the post, I'm getting more quad activation than if I was standing up straight. A key thing to remember when doing step ups is your working leg is the one on the platform. The other leg is just there for a little support at the bottom of the rep, but try not to use it to bring yourself back up. If you push through your working leg, you won't feel the need to push off of the other one. I'm just tapping my toes briefly on the ground and then using the working leg to drive the weight back up. This one was pretty challenging for me. I started with no weight and then jumped up to the 10 pound dumbbell, but by the last set, I was using a five pound dumbbell and fighting to make it to 10 reps. The final exercise is sissy squats. If you feel like you're going to fall backwards when you lean back, you're in good company. I felt this way when I first started with this exercise, but after a friend showed me how far down she could go, I gave it a try and now I'm comfortable with squatting deeper. I would recommend trying this exercise without weight first to make sure you're keeping a flat back throughout all your reps. You might have noticed that I have weights on the tops of my feet, and this is because my shoes were not thick enough to reach the foot cushion, so I was having trouble keeping my balance. The weights filled the gap, and I was able to keep my balance a lot better with the extra cushion. I am doing four sets of 12 to 15 reps. So that is all for this video. If you liked the video or have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you next time.